before showing you the table about the failure of solid rock in Hebrew circuit. And so you have in, really in Hebrew the first public about the Tsukaitan, this solid rock was failed. Now it's written here that it was failed because it didn't have the exact goal for it. But whatever it is, let us see what was the Torah point of view tell us about this failure of Tsukaitan. So now you have a bet missing the Torah, Suk Etan. We translate it literally, which is really solid rock, in the apparent interpretation as it appears. But comes your best meeting, and parallel, which is quite significant, as Professor Rips many times says, is parallel. You have your Mifsa. This is Mifsa, the name of this campaign of Suk Etan, and Nirshal failed. Now, interesting is that we have all this in one book, which is Genesis. Genesis, and the story to do the story with Sodom, you know, Sodom, corrupted place. And then, we find here Aza, Gaza, and the Philistine, which we know quite well, that Samson really wanted also to conquer Aza, but he meant to conquer the evil forces in Aza. For the to Kabbalah, Aza, is a place of evil forces which really have to do with the evil Satan, it is the angel of the Satan, it's called Samael, Samael, very famous. He is really the angel of the Satan who appears here also, Satan, with Amalek. But we believe, as Jews who keep the Torah, that Chatatam Kveah Merod, when they are sinning, and they are heavy sinning, like unfortunately the creating of Shabbat, Tel Aviv, other places now coming more strong and strong, homosexualism, which is a very severe sin, from the Torah. So clearly comes here. This, their sins were very heavy. This was the Samael, and this was the failure. So, Eitan, as a Christian, Ishmael, the Arabs. Amazingly, you have here very small skips this year, Tafshi 9, Dalit, 774. Then, looking more, you have the Emelak here, the Satan, as we said which are the evil forces, which become strong through the sins, transgressing the Torah. Unfortunately, as we said, desecrating Torah, homosexualism, and many other severe sins, unfortunately, are, and they give force to the Hamas, to the Philistines, to Ishmael, and they are causing a lot of troubles. So, let us hope we have still one month, really, Elul, it is a month of repentance, to do repentance, to go back to the way of the Torah, and then really our victories will be proper victories, eternal victories, and then Messiah will come. And as we said, amazingly, you have the word Mashiach here also. Mashiach with this ear, one of the best meetings. Because this ear could be of Mashiach, but only if you keep the Torah. As Maimonides says, redemption will come only if Jews are doing repentance, doing Shuvah. Unfortunately, desecrating Shabbat, fighting against Torah, and definitely doing immoral sins against the Torah, brought to this failure. And we see, we see how Hamas really now looks like he might have what he wanted. Obama now supported him, then give missiles to Israel that can cause damage to others, too much damage. So, no doubt that we are now really in the time when if we really do Torah, keep Torah, we love Mashiach. And if not, we see already, unfortunately, we, meet, we really lost such wonderful Jewish souls. And rockets look like are still there, tunnels are still there, and as uh, Hamas now, can be happy, even if they don't have to shoot missiles, they feel that the world is with them, they will get what they want to get, and Israel will have to surrender, this was a feel, especially when Obama is with them in Europe, and the other troubles which came because of this, the anti-Semitism in the world, so no doubt that the only solution is one solution, to do Shabbat, to repentance, to keep the Torah 
and only then we'll have Mashiach coming, we are still in this year, month of Elul, this is a month which is destined for Tshuva, repentance, let us hope that this is what will happen after really thinking and really going into what was going on and why things did not go as we wanted to, that it will go. The answer is keeping Tshuva, keeping Shabbat, keeping, keeping holiness of the family life. This is the basis of the redemption and Messiah.